Hello there guys, welcome back to the next episode of this AC Milan gameplay. Currently we have defeated the English League, winning it with Manchester United. We're now on the Italian League with AC. Um, we're not doing too bad, we're still unbeaten at the moment. Uh, bought in Isaac, as you can see there, he's ready to go. Um, just qualified for the UEFA Cup third round, waiting for that draw to take place. And then we play Torino today actually. Um... So I'm just looking at here who I need to change around. I do like Colacini, I must admit. Um, but looking at this team, it seems to be doing the business. I do still feel that I need to bring someone in. So I've, I've put in a cheeky bid uh, here for uh, for Julius because I think I need someone in that midfield, this area here where I'm playing Albertini really as a, a pushing midfielder. Um, but we'll... We'll see how it goes. Um, Shevchenko seems to be on form as well at the minute, which is which is quite nice. So as long as we keep these performances up, um, we should be okay. Obviously, we haven't played anyone massive yet, uh, but that'll be the real test when we start to come across teams, you know, like Roma's, Inter's, and I think we played Inter actually. Shevchenko again, starting off really well. Um, it's been a while since I've actually played um, this gameplay as well. You'll notice it's been like a four-day gap of uh, uploading videos. I'm doing it a bit differently now, you see. Normally, I would just record <clears throat> a load of content and then bit by bit I would upload it because I'd be so busy. Um, but at the minute, I'm finding it easier actually just to simply upload a video as I go. Um, and, and that way it sort of works out better in terms of you guys giving me feedback and tips for what I could do for the next time things like that like I've learned like Kaladze playing him at, um, um, as a left winger rather than Serginio Ready? that's my dog doing my head in again um, but yeah we're not doing too bad um, it was a massive break actually after this with, with quite a nice home game coming up so Rui Costa doesn't seem to be doing it so let's have a little look here and see what we can possibly change. To be fair, I have actually started to play um, Filippo Inzaghi as as that attacking mid, uh, attacking midfielder in this case. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm just going to quickly go and put a cone on my dog's head because he's driving me mad, itching his ear at the moment. So hang on. <coughs> Okay, come back to a 4-0. That's good. That's good. Shevchenko with the hat-trick. See, none of these prime YouTubers go off and sort their dog out midway through, do they? Delighted with the Torino game. So am I. I'm actually really chuffed with how things are going. I think if we get Agahawa in, I think that's the that's the um, the missing piece of the jigsaw, to be honest with you. I do actually. I might actually play it. I think it's with Rui Costa. He's 29. He is doing it. When you look at the stats that he's doing, six goals, five assists, an average of 7.91. Um, let's just get Julius in here. I mean, he obviously won't be able to play in the UEFA Cup games because he'll be ineligible based on the fact that Shakhtar are thinker in the UEFA Cup anyway. Uh, are they in UEFA or are they in Champions League? I can't remember. Either way, though, I think they're in Europe. Um... So, because I know that Isaac can't play either. Let's have a look who we've got here, actually. Oh, Pogon. Who the fuck are they? Take them. Take it all day long. That's a nice little buy. Um, <clears throat> so that's coming in. That's quite nice. I can play a weak team then and set myself up for the Palmer game on the 25th. Uh, it's all about squad rotation, I think. And we've got to... We've got to sort of make sure that we... That we keep... Oh, I won't go through till January. It's not too, it's not too far, is it? <clears throat> Figo's transfer listed. Is it worth a punt on Figo? He costs a lot of money in terms of wages. I've got enough money to do it. Um, I mean, it's. Uh, I mean, the thing is, at the minute, I'll. Uh, I don't know, actually. I can't... I, th I don't know. I actually don't know. And I think because this video is going to be long, I think the decision will be made by this point, so you guys won't really have an input in what I do with Figo here as well, because I'm aiming for like an hour of it. Oh, there you go, he's gone. <laughs> he's gone already, he's gone to Bayern. 
they always seem to get him. And I never know how much money Bayern have, actually. They seem to be secure at the minute. There was a lot of money gone there, though, with Figo. But you got to bear in mind, he's 29. They're in the Champions League. He was going to go there, wasn't he, over us? Zaragoza, here we go. Um, let's bump it up a little bit more to 5.7. You can have it. He's, you know, he's finding it hard, isn't he? He'll, he'll definitely go back to Spain, because that's where he wants to go. Just bump it up for the sake of bumping it up. Um, oh, fuck, give up. I put in an extra bloody how much there. Here we go. Four, oh, fucking 4.3. Just go for 4.8. That's a little bit below the asking price. Come on. Deportivo is not happy with the squad rotation. He can piss off. Um, same team. I ain't going to mess around with the team. It's a winning team. We've been unbeaten the whole season so far. Shevchenko firing a hat-trick last game. Him scoring here again now. <clears throat> I'm kind of hoping to put this Italian league to bed quite early. Oh, shit. You know, I do need to change. Someone did say put Shevchenko as a penalty taker. I do need to do that. That's the second one that Perlo's missed, you know. I need, I need to put him as um, a penalty taker. Luckily, I don't think it's cost us here. They've got yeah, they've had a man sent off as well, so we're pretty much yeah. We'll have a we'll have a bit of a rotation with the squad as well for this next game. So I might even play in Zagi up front. I don't know. I don't know if to rest Shevchenko or not. He is an absolute tank, though, isn't he? He is. He's not really cost that. He is an absolute tank, Shevchenko. Jesus. Right, okay. So we'll just we'll just move it around. I'm not gonna There you go. Once you yeah. We can have him for that four point eight mil. Because he's not gonna play for us, this is the thing. He may as well go. And we only play one striker up front anyway. Right, let's have a look. Who have we got? Who is a little bit tired? All right, Perlo's tired. Kaladze. Better put Serginio. Perlo. Let's get him off. Let's put Devala in there. Alba Albertini's tired as well. I'm quite surprised. Um, I mean, Shevchenko is 100%. So I am going to play him. I might just put in Zagi as that attacking mid just to see how they play together. Um, I feel a bit sorry for Inzaghi at the minute because he has actually been playing really well. But he just hasn't had that chance in the first team. I think you, you kind of want to put this tie to bed with the home leg. <coughs> Oh. Yeah, Shevchenko again. Absolute class, isn't he? Yep. Job done. Worked quite well, that, didn't it? With Inzaghi behind. Got two goals. I'm obviously not... Oh, fucking hell, shit myself then, Ronaldo. Five months, broken leg. That guy is just so injury prone, isn't he? Um, Palmer, right, these guys are third, so we know... Well, we know what the crack is here, don't we? Um... I kind of want to keep Inzaghi in that role. Um, yeah, I mean, Redondo played well as well. It's kind of... I mean, I, I, know, I know that they're a nothing team that we just played, that Pogon, whatever they're called, but he played well. <clears throat> I don't really know how this is going to go. I think already looking at this, they seem quite dominant, Palmer.
But we'll have chances. We've just got to put them away. And this is where you need the clinical finishing of Inzaghi and Shevchenko. I didn't change my penalty taker. Shit. <clears throat> I'm going to quickly do that now. Penalty takers. Oh, no. Oh, I, oh yeah. I see what I mean. Yeah. We'll just do it like that. There you go. Take it out. Job done. Who have we got after this, actually? The Italian Cup, three days. It's two legs to it. <clears throat> so it wouldn't be the end of the world if we did get beaten that first leg. Perlo's not playing too well here. Right, I'm going to bring... I'm going to put Rui Costa on in that position. And see if he can do anything from there, running forward. I've got two, so... Okay. Yeah, still it's not it's not a bad result that considering. So, um Italian Cup League is always the the first priority with this. <clears throat> Cuz that's the aim of the challenge really. Oh yeah, they're in the B division as well. What's wrong, Kaladzi? Wants a new contract. Of course, I will give you a new contract, my son. Let's get him settled in. Albertini's a bit tired. We'll bring Redondo in. Larson seems a bit tired. Well, I'm, yeah, I am going to take him out. I think he's... He's one that always seems to get tired, Larson. There we go, Andre. I think there was a few comments as well talking about Contra, and he does seem to be doing it at the moment as well. I was looking at the likes of Cafu. You know Cafu isn't going to go to AC, though. That's the problem that you've got. Right. Kievo on the second. Um... Yeah, Redondo doesn't seem to be doing it today. Hang on, who have I just brought off then? Shit, did I bring... Oh, fuck, I brought Rocket Jr. off. Oh, God. Do you know what? Should we just go for it? Should we just see if we can change that formation, see if this works? Hmm, well... I mean, I, 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 would, I wouldn't feel comfortable playing that. Yeah. Get Albertini in there, definitely. I bet he plays quite well in that role, Albertini. <clears throat> God, we're already at the quarterfinals. Right, I'll play Palmer. At home, which is nice. Yeah, and Zaghi. That's good, though, that he's been getting a bit of praise. I actually like the way he's playing here as well. He's not doing too bad. Roma will win that. Ugh, oh, 87th minute. Okay, Kievo. Do you know what? I'm going to take Perlo off. I don't think Perlo's been doing it for me. So I'm going to let Rui Costa try and run the show in midfield. There you go. 20th goal of the season already for Shevchenko. Inzaghi absolutely nailing it as well at the minute. Playing in behind Shevchenko. It's just quality. Do, do, do. Dog's in. It's in making a nest. 
and he's in. 3 0 at the half. Shevchenko still doing bits, but Roma are still there. Oh, yeah, crap team in that. To be fair, fucking look at those games. I, To be honest with you, I think my crap team are going to be having quite a lot of run ins here. There's, the next two games are going to be for my B team. Oh, who's that? That's Larson off. Fucking great news. I get Kaladze off. Let's get Shevchenko off. Oh, there's a red card for them. Oh, I took Shevchenko off as well. Oh my god, another one! What is going on here? Let's get Inzaghi off, yeah. Down to nine men? That's not good, that. That's, that's two key defenders out. I mean, we've got Costa Curta, Roque Jr. and Colaccini all to come in. Yeah, we'll appeal them. Christ almighty, we'll appeal. Um, but we're going to totally sort this squad out now. And um, I'm going to try and put as, as much as a, a B team as I can out. Like Costa Curta, uh, Colaccini. Um, Roque, Shamot. Oh no, actually, no. Shamot, Sergio. I'm going to try and put this guy at the right just to see what he does. Uh, you've also got Redondo that could play in that role. Rocky Donate. Attacking mid him at Davala, Ave Marino. Redondo's a bit tired. What about Albertini's tired as well? Do we have any in that role? Can he play though? That's the other thing. Yeah, he can. Okay, so that's the team that we've gone for. We will leave a fair... Oh, to be fair, we might, as well, we might as well bung on the bench, mightn't we? But this will be the same team that plays in the Europa League as well, in the UEFA Cup. They're going to be tired, because I know it's a two-day a two day gap that they've got, but they're going to have to because we've got Juve at home, which means that we need the first team completely fit. That's annoying. can tell that it's our B team. Oh, God. Just get a goal and finish it. There we go. Okay, that'll do. I mean, I know we got beat, but play Palmer now. Um, yeah, UA for Cup. Yeah, he can't play. Can he play in the DMC? I don't know if he can. I think he can, actually, which is quite a surprise. And then we're ready for the Juve game. Right, that's been revoked, which is really good. He's injured. Get Roque on. Is Mal... When's that start? I may as well play Man Maldini. I'll play Contra for a bit. To be fair, I could play Perlo in that role. Donati. Redondo can come in there. We're gonna we're gonna have to make some sacrifices in terms of the fitness of that of this. With this team, oh my god, look at these. Colacini. I just, you know, when you. Uh, I get that injuries are going to occur here because of the amount of games in so many days that we've got. But it's an absolute nightmare. Just get through this game with no more injuries. I don't really want to be bringing anyone else on. 
I might bring Shevchenko on near the end just to get him warmed up ready. Because, I mean, Jave Mourinho is just not doing anything, is he, to be honest? Do you know what? I think I will. I'm going to bring him on. And I'm going to bring Inzaghi on as well for Perlo there. And just see if they make a difference up front. Because between them, these two are just prolific. And the good thing about them is, well, obviously, touch wood, they don't get injured, but their their fitness levels are really good. Right, okay, job done. Shamrock's injured. Yeah, we're starting to notice. If you see, I did play. It was, it was the right decision to play Maldini because I knew we'd be suspended. Fucking seven matches. Fucking hell. Good job. I did play him. Barcelona want Redondo. Um. Give me five. Could bring Raquel May in. How's United doing? Anyone upset yet? Come on. Who's unhappy? I want Beckham to be unhappy. I'd love to have Beckham. Love to have Beckham in this Milan team. Zaragoza. Still still winnable. Barca are in it. Bloody hell, they got knocked out. The Champions League. Barcelona are clear favourites for that UEFA Cup. Okay, right. Let's get this team going. Okay, left, right. I did pay Contra the whole game. Luckily, he's okay, though. Good to so. Um, Albertini. I'm going to play Rui. Inzaghi, Shevchenko. Right, that's okay. That that seems to work for me. You've got Colachin on the bench, which is good. Redondo on the bench. Perlo, Avirino, Donati. All, all the bench are going to be absolutely knackered because we played them in the last two games. Oh, fuck. That's a good start for them, that. Come on, we need to get back in this. Oh, shit. Okay. One back. We'll have another before half time. That'll do us. Nope, we didn't get it. Right, okay. Okay. Oh, fuck, we got Roma away after this as well. Shit. Oh, come off it. Perlo, get in. Come on. Just need Shevchenko. Come on, he's a step up, man. Inzaghi's playing at a nine, for Christ's sake. Yes! Okay, that's not... Do you know what? In the context of things, it could have been worse. We, we, could, have, we could have taken a serious hide in there, but we came back, which means we're still unbeaten. Um, oh, I don't know what to do with this Palmer game now because there's, there's such a short stopover of um, when we played Roma away. Uh, just got to make sure all these get a new contract because we could be in next season. Maldini's back, actually, for this game. Um, who's tired here? La right, yeah, let's take Larson off here. Oh, but right. I think we we just need to be very careful. Let's get Redondo in there. Kladze and Contra. Uh, let's take Kladze out and put Serginio in there. Right, let's play that. Um, 
I just want to give us sort of a head start with this home this home leg really. I think if we go there behind, we we cause ourselves a lot of issues going to Palmer. That's a good start. Well done. Uh, so we need to. Oh, Cannavaro, good defender. Oh, here we go. Oh, for fuck's sake. Can't believe the buddy got that. Oh. Okay. I mean, it's only it's only a one-goal deficit that you got to take. That's our first defeat of the season, actually, I think. Is it? No, we might, we might have been in the cup as well. I think we got, yeah. But ultimately, we got through it, didn't we? Um. Okay. Oh, worst game. Right, Javier Mourinho's gone as well. Okay. Colacini's in, DML. Oh, Larson was the other one, wasn't it? Yeah, that was the... Davala. Redondo's tired, but we brought Albertini. Do you know what? Oh, no, I think Albertini might be the right one to play here. Um, oh, this is going to be grim. This is going to be really grim. I hate playing Roma. I don't, I don't even know if they've been beaten yet, actually. Okay. Um, it's not amazing, but you'd, you'd take a draw away at Roma, wouldn't you? Quite easily. And to be fair, there's a big gap after this. I think it's. Um, I don't know what break it is. Ah. Oh, oh. Annoying. A really annoying. I. It just. Ah. Oh. No, the class, aren't they? Yeah, the class. But as long as we stay in and around it, look at all these suspensions now coming up for this next. We've got to beat Atalanta now. Fuck me. A couple of big games coming up there. That Palmer in the cup as well. We want to get quite far in that. Um, have they been? They've been beaten once. Who's beaten them? Early on, Udinese at home, fucking hell. Um, I mean, they've got to, to be fair, got to come to us. They've got to go to Inter. They've got to go to Lazio. Juve at home. Fiorentina away. There's there's some tricky games there for them. But they they've got the capability to to keep going. And they seem to be in everything as well at the minute. Like they're playing Lazio here. Oh, they've been beaten there. Ooh, Paborski. A player he was. Good old Carol. When on earth are we getting bloody Julius, by the way? Come on. The second. Not long. He'll be, he'll be a good asset. I think he'll take probably Albertini's place. When we when we look at it like that, um, because we just need and stuff. Someone was mentioned about this guy as well. I've, I'm, I might I'm gonna bring him up. I think now his contract's gonna run out. It's typical, isn't it? Someone will end up bloody going in for him.
Oh, excuse me. Right, he's in. Julius is in. Okay. Alright. This guy could go back to the reserves now. Collecini's in. Let's put him that side for a week. Um, yeah, I do want to... Let's put him in. I kind of want to see if he has a, an instant impact with the team as well. These are quite hard to beat at Atlanta. I remember these. I think they've got Massimo Taibi as well, haven't they? Colacini's playing a five. There you go, on his debut, Julius. Hey, get in, the Chev. Can't get another one before half time, be quite nice that. To be fair, it's a decent enough time. There's a decent enough stop over there to to be fit. We just need to... Every game is key now. What we don't want to do is get into a habit of losing, especially after that Roma game. Yes, Shevchenko. He went a bit quiet, um, but I'm quite happy that he's back into the, into the role, the swing of things now. Two goals there. Really important. Agahawa coming in, doing bits as well, straight away, playing at an eight. It's what we need. It is. And I think someone who did say that, that cut cover or whatever, I can't know how you say his name. Um, I do need to try and get him a new contract, actually. Because he could he could well be the um he could well be the difference here without having to actually go and get another striker or attacking midfielder. Uh, he didn't seem unhappy. Should we try and get my new contract? Well, we can, you know, we can try, can't we? How are we doing? In, yeah, team, team's okay. Four days, uh, is it Lecce? I don't know how you say it. Uh, but we're 3-2 down here, so this is actually a, a really important game. We, we have the tools to do it. We have the, you know, we have the players to, to win here. It's whether we do it on the day. Because they've actually got some good players as well, to be fair. You, yeah. I mean, he's shit Ventilla. I don't know how he scored past us just then. Is he Shevchenko playing six? Nah. I'm going to bring this guy on. Don't see the harm that it's going to do really in the, the grand scheme of things. Oh, I thought he was going to get sent. If he would have got sent off then, that would have made these last couple of minutes very... Oh! Oh! Disallowed! Oh! That would have been nice. That was Agahawa as well. Oh, that's unlucky. Oh, that is unlucky, actually. <laughs> yeah, that that was unlucky. I'm not too fussed. Like I said, priority is the league. Larson's back as well. Let's get Colacini out of that. I do like Colacini though. This is the thing. I didn't actually realise he was here at Milan. And I actually think he's. I don't know if they'd let him go. If I'm thinking of other teams after this um, after this series, but I do like Colacini. And I have been thinking as well about. I know I know that the series is based on trying to to win 
different um, nations and stuff like that. But I was actually thinking about starting on lower down, like a Division Three English team that I could possibly pick. Right. Right, we've got to win this. Inzaghi, five, bloody hell, Filippo. Come on. Don't fuck around in these games. Don't mess me around. Just get it done. Yeah, they're building up a bit of a lead if I don't win here. 13th, only three days rest as well for the next game. Uh, Lawson. Right. Bring Pearl on for Rui Costa. Oh, fuck! Riley, I oh, saved that fair play. That's just my dog having a moment in the background. Larson's oh, playing shit. Do you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna bring. Let's just do it like that. We left ourselves too exposed. Oh! See now they're they're going to start to build a bit of a bit of momentum now, which is absolutely gutting. Give them an inch, they'll take a mile. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh well, we keep going. We don't get too disheartened. Oh, Shevchenko's tired now, actually. Sounds like a hour. Okay. Hey, score! There you go. Maybe he just needed a nice home game to start himself off there. I mean, Shevchenko had to take a rest at some point. He couldn't, you know, 93%. Oh, he's got another one? DL? Inzaghi. Not bad, not bad. Oh, I'm really chuffed for him there, you know. But he's got two goals. Do you reckon he'd be happy enough to sign a new contract now? What is his actual decent employer? Give him a bit of money. Shamot Cochini. I kind of want to keep him playing, you know. Who we got here? I do want Shevchenko to come back in, though. I mean, I'll obviously bring him off. I know he's 90%, and I can always bring in Zaghi. Oh, who's that? Okay, thank God for that. I mean, that helps, doesn't it, when they go down to 10 men? Play two games more, though. Baggio, yeah, he's a good player, him as well, Dino. Fiorentina, we've got a decent enough gap after that to sort of. He could actually play the whole game, to be fair. Vitali. Yeah, 
we do need to send a message, you know, that we want this league. Shevchenko, there you go. That's why I put him on penalties. Right. So, my plan. I'm going to actually give Agahawa a go there. And see what he can do if he's put in that position. I think when he's when he's put with world class players, you know, he does bits. Five nil, three nil, five nil's good. Home home form's not too bad, you know. I think we've got ourselves a bit of a fortress. He's still got two matches, which is really annoying because he's actually quality. Roma playing here four nil. They yeah, they're just unstoppable, aren't they, Roma? But we need to. Well, that's who we need to compete against, and they're only going to get stronger as the years go on. Hey, San New Deal, lovely jubbly. Okay, so I took that on, you know, into account. That was one of a a, a fellow subscriber that said um, about playing Vitali in the first team. Decided to do that. He's come up trumps. He has. He's done really well. So I'm really happy with that. That's a that's a positive to take from today. Um. He's wanted, yeah. To be fair, he can fucking go. I don't. He's just a waste of time, isn't he? I think I may as well. I don't really understand why I'd change a a winning team. I think if they're doing well, keep it as it is. There you go, Rui Costa again. Didn't he used to play for Fiorentina, Rui Costa? I'll just check. I'm sure he did. Yeah, he did. Yeah, I thought he did. Oh, there it is. They had a good team. Then they have like Batistuta as well. Rui Costa, Batistuta. And then everyone realised just how good they were, and they put their hands in their pockets and started to buy, um, started to buy them all off them. I am going to bring in Zagi on. Oh, okay. I mean, we didn't get beat, but I know it's no use when you've got uh, Roma constantly winning in the background. It puts the pressure on you immensely. Uh, they drew, though, away at Ud Ud Udinese beat them as well at home. Okay, now they've got like, the best record. I think we know Roma's bogey team now. Yeah. Too easy. Too easy for them. Right, guys, I'm going to leave the video there. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. 45 minutes. Uh, I know I haven't uploaded for a while. But, yeah, please remember to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you for the next one.